Prime Minister Narendra Modi is uh, heading to United States of America on the 21st of September. His trip is going to end on 23rd. Now, the Minister of External Affairs is hosting a briefing on that. Listen into what uh, uh, the briefing is all about. Secretary of Americas and Sri Srinivas Gotru, Joint Secretary, who looks after UN Affairs. With that, I invite Foreign Secretary to make his remarks. Sir, over to you. Thank you, Randeer. Uh, namaskar, good afternoon. Um, you would all have seen the uh, press release that was issued uh, day before yesterday, I think. Uh, it was uh, regarding uh, Prime Minister's upcoming visit uh, to the United States. Uh, as you would be aware, uh, Prime Minister will be uh, visiting the US from the 21st to the 23rd of uh, September. Uh, this visit uh, combines uh, many aspects. Uh, it has a very important bilateral aspect to it, a very important plurilateral aspect to it, and an equally important multilateral uh, aspect to it. Uh, there will be interaction with a variety of uh, foreign uh, partners uh, at the level of the Prime Minister. Uh, there will be interaction with uh, the large uh, Indian diaspora uh, in the U.S., uh, and uh, there will be uh, engagement with uh, a host of uh, business and industry uh, leaders, amongst others. Um, Prime Minister, uh, let me give you a sort of a snapshot of uh, the visit and the various elements that are currently uh, fixed, and then I can go a little bit into the detail of each of these uh, components. The Prime Minister's first stop will be uh, Wilmington in uh, Delaware, uh, which, as you know, is the hometown of uh, President Biden. Uh, that is also the venue of uh, this sixth Quad Summit uh, that will be held there. Uh, it also happens to be the fourth in-person summit between the Quad leaders, and that will be uh, during the day on the 21st of uh, September. Uh, from Wilmington, the Prime Minister will travel to New York to attend the Summit of the Future uh, at the United Nations. This, as you know, is a special event that's been convened this year uh, following a decision that was taken in 2021, I think. Uh, and uh, uh, the Prime Minister will address uh, this uh, gathering of uh, world uh, leaders. Uh, he will have a number of other uh, engagements uh, throughout uh, these uh, three days. Uh, so just to recap, on the 21st will be the Quad Summit, the bilateral meetings on the sidelines of the Quad Summit. A very special event this time on the sidelines of the Quad Summit will be a cancer moonshot event. This is a major priority. I can give you some more details on this uh, later. Uh, on the 22nd, the Prime Minister will have an interaction uh, with the Indian diaspora. This is being organized this time by the community in Long Island uh, in New York. Uh, there will be a technology roundtable, uh, a roundtable with a number of uh, tech CEOs uh, where opportunity to discuss the tech investment landscape and the opportunities that are available here will be uh, on the table. And uh, there will be separate uh, and several other meetings with CEOs and other uh, uh, stakeholders, uh, and also uh, some bilateral meetings with uh, heads of state uh, and uh, government. On the 23rd, as I said, uh, the Prime Minister will address the Summit of the Future uh, in the UN General Assembly, and there are a few more uh, bilateral meetings that are being fixed up uh, on that day. Uh, as you can ima imagine, several parts of this uh, visit are still a uh, work in uh, progress. Uh, some meetings are being fixed up. We'll keep you updated as we uh, go uh, forward. Uh, just a few more uh, points to elaborate on uh, the different components of this visit. Uh, first, the Quad Summit, as I said, uh, being hosted by President Biden in his hometown in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, now, I know that some of you have uh, had some curiosity earlier about the fact that it was India's turn to host the Quad Summit uh, this year. That's a fact, but uh, we had discussions uh, with our uh, U.S. colleagues, and at the request of the U.S. side, we 
agreed to exchange it given that the Prime Minister was going to be in the uh, United States. Uh, as you probably already know, India will host the next Quad Leaders Summit in uh, 2025. Uh, the uh, Quad has uh, a very, very full and substantive agenda on this occasion as well. Uh, I'll not uh, uh, preempt the leader's declaration, which we'll issue at the end of the summit. I would only point out that uh, the Quad's constructive agenda continues to develop. We continue to work on uh, development priorities uh, in the Indo-Pacific in implementing sustainable development goals, delivering public goods, a uh, strong focus uh, on peace, prosperity, and stability uh, in the Indo-Pacific uh, region. Uh, our agenda covers uh, health security, climate change, critical and emerging technologies, uh, HADR infrastructure, connectivity, maritime security, and uh, counterterrorism. Uh, and therefore, this upcoming visit offers us, uh, the Quad leaders, the opportunity to review uh, progress achieved uh, in the last one year and set the agenda for the uh, next year. As I said, one of the signature initiatives that will be unveiled on the sidelines, and this one I can speak about a little bit, is the Cancer Moonshot uh, event. And through this milestone uh, initiative, the Quad aims to implement innovative strategies to prevent, detect, treat, and alleviate the impact of cancer on patients uh, and their families. And to begin with, uh, we intend to collaborate uh, in reducing the burden of cervical cancer uh, in the Indo-Pacific uh, region. Uh, we are looking at a Quad joint statement, a Quad fact sheet, and uh, the Cancer Moonshot event will have a separate fact sheet uh, of its own. Uh, as you probably would uh, have gathered by now, this is also going to be a kind of a farewell event insofar as the Quad is concerned for President Biden and Prime Minister Kishida of uh, Japan. And therefore, the Quad event provides uh, the Prime Minister with an opportunity uh, to thank both leaders for their leadership in giving momentum and salience uh, to the Quad uh, partnership. Uh, very quickly, as I said, on the bilateral uh, part, uh, there will be an opportunity to uh, have a substantive uh, engagement uh, between Prime Minister and President uh, Biden, where they will have the opportunity to review the comprehensive global strategic partnership between India and the United States, which today covers almost every aspect of human endeavor through the 50-plus uh, uh, engagements and uh, bilateral dialogue mechanisms that we have uh, between uh, the two sides. Uh, again, it also gives the Prime Minister the opportunity to thank President Biden for his pioneering role in strengthening the India-US uh, relationship and for the several new initiatives, such as the initiative on critical and emerging technologies, which was taken during, uh, this, uh, during the time that President Biden has been at the helm uh, in uh, the United States. Um, at the bilateral meeting, I just want to uh, preview this a little bit for, uh, uh, for you. Uh, there will be uh, an opportunity for both sides to exchange a few agreements. Uh, two that I would highlight are the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework related agreements and an India-US uh, Drug Framework uh, uh, related uh, MOU. Uh, there will be a bilateral fact sheet also that will be released on this occasion, which will give you uh, more details. We also expect to have bilateral meetings with uh, the leaders of Japan uh, and Australia. Uh, moving forward to the following day, which is the 22nd, as I said, uh, the key engagement on this will be Prime Minister's address to a gathering of the Indian community in uh, Long Island uh, in New York. This is an event that's being organized by the community. Uh, as you know, we have uh, about 4.5 million strong uh, Indian diaspora in the United States, amongst the largest such groups uh, there, uh, and one that has made a mark for itself and is contributing uh, to uh, the relationship between the two countries by acting as a vibrant living bridge uh, between uh, the two of us. Uh, 
The Prime Minister will also be attending, as I said, a business roundtable with CEOs of leading U.S. companies in the cutting-edge areas of artificial intelligence, semiconductors, quantum computing, and biotechnology. And again, an opportunity to review innovations that have taken place in these fields, highlight India's growth journey, the opportunities that are offered uh, in uh, India uh, for cooperation and uh, investment. Uh, while in New York, the Prime Minister will also have the opportunity to have bilateral meetings with several other world leaders. Uh, these are also still being worked on in terms of uh, timings, availability, uh, convenience, uh, venue, etc. So we'll keep you updated as we get more uh, details. Last but certainly not the least is Prime Minister's address to the Summit of the Future on uh, the 23rd of uh, September at the UN General Assembly. Uh, the um, uh, summit will bring together world leaders uh, with the objective of enhancing multilateral cooperation with a view, obviously, uh, as the title says, to the future, to tackle the most pressing uh, global challenges that we face, the gaps in global governance that exist. Uh, and one of the main uh, areas of attention will be uh, attaining the sustainable development goals on target and on uh, time. Uh, an outcome document, a uh, pact of the future, uh, pact for the future, uh, along with annexes on the Global Digital Compact and a declaration for future generations are expected to be adopted by the world leaders, and these are being finalized uh, as we uh, speak. Um, obviously, India's uh, priorities at the summit uh, include uh, inclusive and equitable uh, sustainable development, south-south uh, cooperation, uh, you would recall that the Prime Minister hosted the third Voice of the Global South Summit uh, in August this year, which saw participation by over 120 countries. And I would imagine that many of the concerns that were raised at that summit will also find voice at the summit of uh, the uh, future. Uh, the summit of the future will be followed by uh, the UN General Assembly High Level Week, uh, the External Affairs Minister will be taking part in the High Level Week and he will deliver uh, India's national statement uh, during the High Level Week. Let me stop there and be happy to take a few questions in the time available. Thank you, sir. And before I open the floor, uh, one request. Please keep your questions focused on the visit and the agenda of the visit. With that, the floor is yours. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.